Welcome to Serif Web Plus X5. In this tutorial, we will take a look at the new Button Studio. The Button Studio is a great new tool allowing anybody to create buttons easily. Adding shapes, text, effects and images is effortless. And with a click of the mouse, we can even convert our new button into an intelligent navigation bar. Let's now take a look at creating a new button. I'm working with the Family Pictures site that I have developed from one of the WebPlus templates. To add a new button, I can either drag the icon from the Quick Builder tab or I can click Insert Button just here. At the top of the dialog, we have now a couple of options. First, let's take a look at choosing a button style. After clicking on the button, I'm presented with a list of ready-made options. Now I can scroll to find a style I like. It's worth noting at this point that it is not essential to choose a ready-made button. If you wish, you can design your button from scratch by selecting the pencil icon just here. As I have chosen a ready-made button, this opens up for me in the new button studio. Now I can look at editing the different states of the button and customizing colors, styles and effects. To the left, you can see that support is on hand, in the form of the How To tab, with instant advice on adding and editing colours, shapes, styles and more. And at the bottom of the studio lies the Button States tab. This tab represents all the different states of the button. For example, when we roll over a button with our mouse, the button may change colour. This will be known as a hover state. Again. When we click a button, a different colour may present itself. This would also be known as a down state, and so on. In this tutorial, I will be looking on modifying three states, normal, down and hover. OK, let's look at editing the button. This particular design I have chosen makes use of a background shape. We can treat the background state almost like a master page. Anything we place on the background state will repeat itself through all other states on the button design. In this instance, a shape has been created using the Quick Shapes tab just here. I would like to change the colour of my button, so all I need to do is select the shape and use any of the colours available to me through the Swatches and Colours tab just here. Or we can even add a style to the button design from the Styles tab. I'm going to add a gradient to my button using the Fill Flyout tool just here. As you can see, it's quick and easy, and I can even customise the gradient by selecting my own unique colours. I have chosen colours from the Site palette just here so that it will be in keeping with my site colour scheme. Next. I will edit the border or line around my shape. With this button, I have decided to remove the line completely. OK, now that we have designed the background for our button, let's move on to the normal state. I feel happy with the way the normal state is looking, only I would like to change the font style and colour of the text. First, I will select the text frame. Next, I will choose a font for my text. If you wish to have different font styles for each state, then deselect the Change All Text icon just here. I'm also going to change the colour of my text, and I can do this from the colour tool here. Again, I'm going to use one of the 12 colour sets available so that my button is in keeping with the rest of my site. Using the same techniques discussed, Let's modify the down state. Because I want to change the colour completely, I'll have to create a new button to sit on top of the background image. The easiest thing to do here is to go back to the background, select and copy the shape, then paste in place over the down state graphic. Easy. Now I can modify the colour and style just like before. Finally, I'm going to change the hover state. And in this instance, I'll reverse the gradient fill effect that I applied into the background. Again, I will copy, place and edit. Simple. 
Now I have my three states, I can commit changes and move back into the edit button dialog. Before we move out of the studio, it is worth noting that the red guidelines you see can be put in place to allow the button to stretch and expand without distorting corners and objects as the text grows within your button. Finally, I want to edit the label within my button. And I can do this just here under the Button Label tab. And there we go, it's that simple. I can now place my button and scale if necessary by dragging the boundary box just here. Alternatively, if you wish, you can convert any button you have designed into a dynamic navigation bar that automatically matches your site's structure and page names. And there we have it, how to create buttons and navigation bars in WebPlus using the Button Studio.